Bob, I mean, uh, wait, what's your name again? <laughs> Wombat. Oh. Perhaps we cleared your head too much. Look, there's our neighbor Mildred. <sighs> she looks like she could use some company. Hi, Mildred. Is everything all right? Well, to tell you the truth, Peking, I'm feeling a little sad this evening. You're feeling sad? Why? Because I'm in the mood for some adventure. Not sitting here on this old bench. Adventure? What sort of adventure? Oh, I don't know. Something exciting. Something new. You know, like dancing on the moon. You want to dance on the moon? Sounds like a great adventure to me. But... Peking, we don't know how to get to the moon. True, but Chumpkins does. Let's go. Come along, Paco. Adventure awaits. Hello. What do you need? <laughs> Why do you think we need something? We just stop by to say hi. Hi. Okay, okay. Mildred here wants to dance on the moon. And we need you to help us get there. The moon? Do you think I have a spaceship just lying around? Oh, I guess not. Sorry to bother you. Uh, hang on. I don't have a spaceship lying around, but I do have one standing up on the launch pad. Observe the space copter. How'd we miss that on the way over? Adventurific! <laughs> Prepare for blastoff! 20, 19, 1! Sorry, I just wanted to move things along. One of my many charms. <laughs> Whoa! Who knew outer space would be so, well, spacious? Next stop, the moon! moon! The moon! Isn't it lovely? I can't wait to dance on it! la dee da Prepare for landing in 20... 19... One! This is one small step for Duck, and one giant leap for Mildred! <laughs> Excuse me, Ducky, adventure awaits! Where's the dance floor? Wow, we're really on the moon! Hey, I need my dance music! And what would you like to boogie to? Track seven, please, and crank it! <laughs> Well executed, plie and pirouette. Chumpkins? What? Pigs aren't supposed to know ballet? Now play track 11. All right! Wow! You've still got it, Mildred. That's cause I never lost it, Duck. <laughs> I declare our adventure a success. Let's head back to Hilly Hole. Oh, okay. <sighs> Is something the matter, Mildred? Well, dancing on the moon was nice, but it made me want to have another 
adventure. Another adventure? What did you have in mind? Hmm. I want to meet an alien from outer space. An alien from outer space? Yes, on a faraway planet. Who has an alien dog? I don't think that's possible. Oh, Chunkins, we've come so far. What's one more stop on the way home? But where are we going to find an alien on a faraway planet? With an alien dog. Leave that to me. To the space copter. No, too hot. All the parking spaces are full. Oh, too cold. Oh, this planet has some strange creatures on it. Um, that's Earth. Right. Here we are, a faraway planet. Ali Ali Oxen Free! Come on out, alien and alien dog. I don't see any aliens. With or without dogs. Right behind you, cutie. <laughs> Greetings. I am Zala, senior citizen of the planet Spoo. And I'm a pretty good bowler. Ooh, I love Bowling! I can't believe my eyes! A real alien! What? <gasps> and a real alien dog! Oh. My dog Zappo has taken a liking to your unusual two eyed dog. Oh. A liking and a licking. <laughs> Zala, I'm Mildred, and I love your shopping cart. Why, thank you, Mildred. It has jet propulsion technology. But I'm not so good with these newfangled gadgets. Oh, hey, easy. Oh, there. I do miss the old days. Me too. Zala, we should exchange phones. Numbers. Do you have one of these doohickeys? Yes, but I can't say I know how to use it. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Look at us. I hope to see you again, Mildred. Me too. Bye, Zala. Oh, she was so nice. She sure was. Well, time to go. Well, Mildred. You got to dance on the moon and make a new alien friend. Yeah, that was quite an adventure. <laughs> Ready to head home? Hmm, not just yet. There's one more thing I'd like to do. And what might that be? I've always wanted to take a ride on an asteroid. Now that would be an adventure. Take a ride on an asteroid? Are you kidding? Mildred doesn't kid, Piggy. And who can say no to this face? Or this one? Or this one? <sighs> Fine. Let's go find an asteroid. Hmm. <gasps> Look! An asteroid! But how exactly does one ride an asteroid? With a giant asteroid saddle. Naturally. Naturally. What's that alarm? Goodness. That means the asteroid is heading right towards Earth. Then we better hurry. I'll slow the asteroid down for a gentle landing. Can she do that, Chumpkins? I have no idea. Yeah! <laughs> we are riding an asteroid, Paco! We're heading for Hilly Hole. We gotta slow this asteroid down. Woo, Nilly! Hey, it's working. Mildred is slowing down the asteroid. Yeah, but she's still going too fast. <gasps> Need a hand, Mildred? Sola, my dear alien friend, climb aboard. Help me slow this baby down! <laughs> We're still going too fast! Don't worry, Mildred! I have an idea! Now, which button do I push? Oh, it's working! 
King. You did it, Zala. We did it. <laughs> that was totally amazing. What took you youngin' so long? We didn't have the help of aliens. Zala, why don't you and Zappo stay for dinner? I make some tasty Brussels sprouts. We'd love to, Mildred. Thank you. And I hope you beasts will join us too. You've made an old lady. And an old alien lady. Very happy. It was our pleasure. But I don't really like Brussels sprouts. She can. Never mind. <laughs> We'll be there. Wonderful! What a lovely adventure we had. Hey, friends? It certainly was. Well, he don't fly and he don't quack. He hangs with a pig and a cute wombat. They like to take a stroll in the town of Hilly Hole. They find the helicopter, yeah, the stuck is on a